that if God were to take you to heaven, send you to heaven rather, and wouldn't come himself, God still would have doomed you to hell if he didn't come there. Because I assure you that heaven cannot consist in a mansion. It can't consist in any of the things which are generally associated with a heavenly abode. The thing that makes heaven heavenly is not the mansion, not the street of gold, not the river of life, and not the hearts in which the angels will play. The thing that makes heaven heavenly is the revelation of God without restriction or inhibition or anything to obscure him. And if he were to send you to however blissful a situation you can imagine and not come himself, he would have simply relocated hell. What we are seeing is that heaven is a place, but that which makes the place heavenly is the presence of the king of the place, the Lord of the place, the Lord Jesus Christ. God's great purpose in grace is not just to take us to heaven when we die. It is to save us from sin. It is to make us like Jesus Christ. It is to bring us into vital, living, warm, experiential fellowship with him now during the days of our pilgrimage. And then because he's already brought heaven to us, it will be a simple matter for him to take us to heaven. But heaven was to begin in our hearts. 